So I'll never forget the first time I found a Garicon. It was a little unexpected. I was out of old growth forest in a very dry region of the Pacific Northwest, and we usually see it growing on dug fir for the most part, but this one was growing on ponderosa pine, which is really exciting, and it was a little out of reach, so I had to work pretty hard to get a tissue sample. I had to go down a steep embankment <laughs> through a creek. Up a rock wall. And some thorns. Ouch, ouch. Which was also very exciting and really fun. But in the end, I was able to complete my quest of obtaining the Garicon sample, and thankfully it's now a part of our culture library. It took a little perseverance in this rugged terrain, but it was so worth it because diversifying our collection and finding a Garicon on different trees that it doesn't typically grow on is also important for us to study.